The Korea Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said that so far 75 COVID-19 patients who fully recovered have registered to donate their blood plasma. They will be tested for possible health issues which can disqualify them from donating. KCDC Deputy Director Kwon joon explained that at least 130 donors are needed to begin clinical testing for the development of a plasma treatment for COVID-19. He said that given current circumstances, it's very likely a plasma cure will be secured for clinical testing. Korean Air has for the first time installed cargo seat bags in passenger aircraft cabins to tra transport cargo. This particular flight left Incheon International Airport on Thursday, headed to Chicago, and Korean Air has recently prepared 134 cargo seat bags that can be installed in two passenger planes. One seat bag can hold up to 225 kilograms of cargo, and the latest flight is known to have transported mainly daily necessities and fresh food products. The Ministry of Science and ICT on Friday announced research and development strategy as a follow-up to the master plan on managing fine dust pollution established last November. Under the plan, the ministry will move away from the government's R&D investment that until now focused on developing technologies aimed at reducing fine dust emissions. Investment will now be concentrated in basic research areas to determine the cause of fine dust.